Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin here, and I'm super excited to be bringing my third and final announcement video for year-long reading initiatives that I'm a part of. This is going to be for the Science Reading Challenge. If history or philosophy are more of your thing, check out the links in the description down below where I help co-host with Historathon and also try to run the Philosophy Reading Challenge as well. I feel like I need to get, like, with the programming here, get some catchier names. If you got, like, an idea for, like, a Science Reading reading challenge. Sciathon and Sciread were already taken, so, you know, got to come up with something or other. But anyways, this is a year-long, I guess, just readathon, reading initiative event, focusing on reading nonfiction science books. So nonfiction in general, I love, obviously, you can just see all this stuff if you've been following my channel at all. If you're new here, I read a lot of science and history and philosophy, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I feel like nonfiction and then science in particular, I feel like just doesn't get enough limelight, just doesn't get the attention it deserves. So I'm just trying to put a spotlight on science, reading science literature, all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started and talk about some of the things that are going to be going on for it. I'm also going to hang up the documents and kind of like all the rule, you know, rules and ideas and concepts and stuff down below as well. But primarily just reading any science book over the course of the year, you've fully participated if it's nonfiction. I'm also breaking down the year into quarters, much in the spirit of the philosophy challenge and historathon as well. And uh, the idea here is to read a book in each of the quarters that kind of correspond to that theme. So with the other two, they're kind of more chronological. I feel like with history and Philosophy, you can kind of get away with that a little bit too. Science, not so much. So uh, it's going to be more topical than chronological. So first up, we're going to have January, February, and March for quarter one. And that's going to be all about the life sciences. So that's probably my favorite, which is why I think it got like the first spot. Like kind of nature reads. So, you know, books on, you know, genetics, books on uh, animals or botany or fungi, anything like that, anything dealing with uh, the life sciences, um, biological sciences, anything like that can go in there for sure. And then next up, moving on to the next three months for quarter number two, um, we're going to be doing the physical sciences. So there's going to be things like physics, um, probably astronomy is very popular. A lot of space books, um, like space science books, I think are pretty popular as far as like science goes uh, and things like that. Then moving on to quarter three is going to be more of the uh, earth sciences. So anything dealing with either, um, you know, I don't know, volcanoes or climate or weather patterns, anything like that. I feel like that could uh, fit a lot of different things as well. Uh, and then quarter four, I'm going to just do kind of um, as like a free for all, just anything science. This would be a good time to try out some of the softer sciences. Maybe you're really into like, I don't know, uh, excuse me, like psychology or something, you know, that we'll kind of like swing it. We'll, we'll count it as a science for this event and things like that. Um, you know, maybe like some hardcore like archaeology, I feel like could go in the sciences. If you actually get into like archaeology, there's a lot of science that goes on in there. I feel like maybe like scientific memoirs or biographies of famous scientists. I don't know, philosophy of science. I feel like a lot of that stuff could go in quarter four as well. Maybe I'll come up with some kind of like a better idea too. But um, like I said, I guess ideally reading one book in each of those quarters, if it's nonfiction, uh, will work great for that. There will be a Discord. I can't remember if I mentioned if there was going to be a Discord or not, but yeah, there will be a Discord. It already exists, and we've got tons of members already talking about like some science books and stuff like that. Sometimes we'll be setting up different buddy reads as well, which is probably one of my favorite things dealing with the philosophy one um, and the uh, historathon. I feel like the buddy reads just really kind of like just amplify everything. Uh, so anyways, definitely join that um, if you would like to. Now there's a couple like little fun things I'm gonna try with this one that I, I guess I didn't <laughs> do with the philosophy one. Um, so first up, what I'd like to do is have some kind of periodic table of science books or scientific literature um, and what I'm thinking is in the discord or in the comments down below and stuff, as we read science books, each time we read a new book as a group, um, you know, we'll just add it to the periodic table until we fill out the entire thing. And then I was thinking maybe of doing some kind of like live stream, uh, either with participants, um, if they have channels like joining in, or if you're just reading and joining in the discord, like leaving comments and things down below as we just kind of like talk about all the science books that kind of filled up the table. I thought it was something of a cool idea. Might be it's something brand new for me. I've only ever done one live event, and that was like as the guest. Um, 
So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be getting myself into there. But for those who love kind of the more traditional, like reading, uh, readathon, reading events, um, what I'm going to be doing is in each quarter, uh, in the last week of the second month, the last week of the second month of each of the quarters. So that would be what? The last week of February, the last week of May, the last week of August, and the last week of November. Um, we're going to be doing like um, a reading, a readathon for that particular topic. So how we're going to do it is the first one's going to be called, I'm going to call it a bio blitz, which for those who uh, have ever heard of it before, a real bio blitz is when yeah, you get yourself and a bunch of friends or classmates or whatever who the group is, get them together, you set a designated amount of time, usually for like a day or so or a weekend, and you kind of go off into like a designated area and try to identify as many species of flora and fauna as you can. So uh, I'm kind of stealing that like kind of concept in what I'm thinking is during that week, we, you know, we all try to like read a book on that theme. So for the biology one, obviously uh, some kind of biological science book during the bio blitz. And then we'll have the astro blitz for the second quarter, uh, a geo blitz for the third quarter. And I haven't thought of a great name. I'm, gonna, I'm leaning towards eco blitz because it's like people in science, ecology. Is it a way for me to just get nature and ecology in there for like a second time? Kind of, <laughs> probably because that's my favorite you can see there um but like i said for those who kind of want the more traditional kind of week week long like kind of reading events i wanted to include those as well just kind of keep things kind of interactive uh different things going as well and then lastly i'm gonna have um i guess something like a curricula so if you join the discord um i'm gonna have a uh, like a class schedule here of uh, 10 or I guess 12 different, si excuse me, different science topics. So we got, you're going to have things like astronomy, you know, biology, zoology, uh, I think like geology, um, things like that. And then a couple electives as well. And if anyone finishes the curricula there over the course of 2025, what I'm thinking is uh, I run an Etsy woodworking shop where I sell a bunch of things like this, you know, and that if I could hold them upright and everything like that what I was thinking was anyone who finishes it can get like a meet a free medium-sized sign uh, and I'll do a custom like science quote or uh, science related thing for you and send it off to you so yeah we'll just go on the honor system for that I believe I don't know there might be I don't know if there's like actual like rules and things I don't know if this counts like as a giveaway or whatever as far as like YouTube and all that stuff is concerned and discord I'll have to like double check the rules on that and all that um, but yeah, I just thought that'd be kind of like a fun way to kind of encourage more science reading as well. So let me know down below if you think this is a cool idea or not. If you'd like to join in the science reading challenge, like I said, all the information I'll have uh, in, in a Google document, a Google, excuse me, Google uh, Drive folder and everything that people can access. The Discord will be available as well. And I just, like I said, I just hope it encourages people to read a lot more science and i think it's going to help too like any other kind of reading events like for example i know climathon is going to be a thing in 2025 and springathon which is all about nature reads um is a really great reading event every year as well i feel like they kind of everything can kind of incorporate those as well so if you want to join in those you can just double up and just join ours too so anyways like i said just want to encourage science reading i think it's definitely a very overlooked genre of literature. Um, let me know if you want some recommendations on certain science topics. Um, I can't do everything. Like, I don't know if I got asked for like a, I don't know, like a geology uh, <laughs> video recommendation. I'm going to be the one looking out for recommendations for books, for example, like on geology and stuff like that. So if you got good recommendations or you want to see uh, like a list of recommendations, leave some comments down below. I'll see what I can cobble together. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy. hope you want to join. And whether or not you're reading science or something else, always remember, read victoriously.